This is the Flint Mountain Shelter. Where I spent the night last night. This is a nice shelter. It's a little different. It's got dirt floor. And it's got these two big platforms. But I hid back in my little corner out of the rain. And, and uh, I slept like a little baby. So this is the start of the day. It has that little center post. I did the cooking inside. I slept good. Did 18.9 yesterday to get to the Flint Mountain Shelter. Let's see. Today. What day of the week is it? Tuesday? Here's the signs. Here's the Appalachian Trail. And I'm going southbound, so I'm going to go this way. Water supply was a uh, uh, creek or stream about 50 yards to, to the north so I crossed it last night and it was late when I got in I wasted so much time going to that um, so called hostel <laughs> but I made the right choice I popped up that little last three miles got here in the dark I could still see mm. Here's an old side trail. That probably used to be the Appalachian Trail. There's a road going down. Here's the trail going up. There we go. So is it Tuesday? Monday. I don't know what day of the week it is. Monday. Alright. Here's the trail. I got a shelter at 7, one at 14, and then another one at 22. It's supposed to be a ratty little shelter at 22. At mile 1900. Oh, did I say mile 1900? At mile 1900, there's a little hostel. I may pop into that hostel tonight and uh, spend the night, sleep on a bed, wash my wet socks. Maybe my shoes will dry out some today. Uh, it was cold last night. My little sleeping bag's so good. Mountain hardware sleeping sleeping gear is just nice. My 35 degree bag is my summer bag. I cozied up in there and I was sound asleep. Stayed warm all night. Got up this morning. Pulled on my uh, down puffy. Feels like pigs been here rooting around. Put on my down puffy and I was ready to go. Alright, here we go on the Appalachian Trail. Alright, day 157. Ah, going up the hill. It's pretty today. It's cool. <clears throat> it's good hiking weather. A little cool's nice. Especially when you're going uphill. Uh. Let me see, I showed you a video of the of the shelter last night. I got in there, <clears throat> I put my sleeping bag down, and I looked up. There were two mile, two mice running around. I yelled at them. <clears throat> but the most important thing is I put everything up. I didn't have any issues with mice. Yeah. No mice. Oh, man. It's going to be a fun day. 
Here we go. I just took some pictures of the Shelton graves. I'm gonna have to do some in, some inf digging for information on that. Apparently, a couple of Union soldiers were visiting their family during the uh, Civil War, and uh, they were killed at that location and were buried. Anyway, I thought that was interesting. It was really close to the trail, so I went up and took a peek. Anyway, I'm gonna find out about that. It's kind of curious. All right, here we go. All right, just popped out of the woods on Cold Spring Mountain. Oh, looks like my shoes are gonna get wet here. Uh, Cold Spring Mountain. And I'm coming up on something called Big Butt. Now, I did not make that up. Big Butt. So, Cold Spring Mountain to Big Butt. Ah, kind of nice here on top. See these little balls? Somebody may have had a farm here one day. Who knows? House. I'm looking for an apple tree. <laughs> Something didn't like this post. It was clawing at it. You can hear the bees swarming. They're all over. Road. <laughs> I wonder if it's Big Butt Road. Ah, might be Cold Spring Road. I don't know. All right, here we go. Up old Big Butt. big butt. I can see why there's a bypass trail, which I did not take. So I go from rock to rock to more rocks. All right. I don't want big butt to kick my big butt. I'm going to hang up. All right. Popped out of big butt. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't say it that way. I just uh, came off of, that sounds worse. Anyway, came out of those woods and rocks. And now I am on this ball. This is so pretty. You notice how they got it tra trimmed back so you can walk on it. Of course, it's covered in dew, so my feet are squishy. That's okay. Beautiful old tree. This is nice. Very pretty. The birds. Someone's camped here before. This was pleasant. His pleasant and it was unexpected. And there you go. All right, I just stopped at the Jerry Cabin Shelter. I had some lunch and some water, get redid my water. And then the coolest thing happened. Uh, the trail worker showed up, volunteer. Volunteer, that's the key word. These people volunteer to do this. He showed up and he was carrying uh, a gallon of paint, he had brushes, and he also had the 
thing you cut vines with. And he had been walking the trail, cleaning it up. But he came up and he said, there, he was repainting the shelter because of all the graffiti. And uh, he was talking about, I just took a picture of one of the signs. They have such wonderful signs here. And they're handmade and beautiful. And he goes, we're constantly having to take these things down, resand them, and paint them because of the graffiti. And he said that I took a before and after picture where he'd already put a coat of primer on it, and you can see all the writing. And he said, we're putting primer on it and then painting it black so the black markers don't show up. But he said the manpower involved in doing that was crazy. And it is. Dumb people doing dumb things. Don't write your name in a shelter. Nobody cares, Rocket Man. I saw your name up there. and You're right in front of me, South Bounder. Nobody cares that you were there. He said, if you want to sign your name, put it in the log. He said, they keep the logs. But it's just juvenile. Anyway, they're redoing it and making it look better. And they're all volunteers. So thank you, Booney Man. He was, his trail name was Booney Man. And uh, I appreciate what you're doing. I think most of the through hikers do. And uh, I just hate that the, the, the few people that feel like they need to ride everywhere make it hard on everyone else. So there's my story. Anyway, this shelter was nice. They had, uh, had good water. And uh, the uh, clean. So there you go. And now it's got fresh paint, fresh coat of paint on it. <laughs> All right, here we go. Seven miles to the next shelter. All right. I just hit the 300 mile to go mark. Woohoo! 300 more miles of wonderful Appalachian Trail. 300 miles. That's less than three weeks. Three weeks. Wow. That's amazing. And tonight, the hostel I'm going to is at the 1900 mile mark. So I'll have gone 1,900 miles on the Appalachian Trail. That's crazy wild. <laughs> I, I, it's hard to fathom walking 1,900 miles. The whole trail, I believe, is 2189.8. I think it's what AWOL has it as. So, that means you 21. Oh my goodness, that's, that's wild. So I'll be uh, below 300. 290-ish. Yeah! Alright, here we go. It's a strange tree. It's like two trees. You see a gap there that have grown together. That is funky. Still alive. Cool. Trail so pretty through here. I know I keep talking about the volunteers today, but that just, I'm so appreciative of those guys. Booney Man said that they, uh, he was up here with his weed eater a few days ago, cutting back on the trail on the edges. And I think he was talking about that um, bald back there, but you can see the same thing here, where with the weed eater, you come back and Trim back all those nettles and other stuff. Keep the trail from being overgrown. And uh, 
Man, that's wonderful. Thank you, sir. My goodness. I'm back in the whites. <laughs> right. Here's this ridge trail. This is pretty. It's all the way around. I love it. They're different. I don't see them quite like that. Pretty neat. Day 156, uh, seven, seven on the Appalachian Trail. I just found a shelter and I found a party. <laughs> These are party campers. They offered me, Mom, I didn't drink any. They offered me great drinks that I really wanted to drink, Mom. And we've got a fiddler in here. Look at this. This is the best ever. This is what camping and hiking is all about.